Hey everyone, welcome back to The Way of Ramen. Today we'll be making a shoyu tare recipe that I found on YouTube from a YouTuber called Kokokara Kitchen, and he calls this his Shame the Pros shoyu tare. So let's give it a try. I have some niboshi here that I've been soaking from last night, and I'm gonna put that into a pot. It's about 20 grams of niboshi and 200 milliliters of water. I'm gonna put that into a pot and slowly bring this to a boil. Now in the recipe, he really stresses that the water comes to a boil at around 40 minutes. So it's a really slow process. I personally didn't do this for two reasons. One is that I only had 200 milliliters of water and I was afraid that it would evaporate more than the 100 milliliters I needed for the recipe. And two, my son was taking a nap and I needed to finish this before he woke up. So I, I ended up doing it around 20 minutes. It came to full boil at around 20 minutes and I took it, turned it off and it came out okay, but it might have been a lot stronger if I let it go for 40, but I might not have had the 100 milliliters I need for the recipe. So after you bring it to the boil, you take it off the heat immediately and you strain it and that is your niboshi dashi, which you will be using in your tare recipe. This is probably the most complicated step, so if you can do this, you're good to go. And from all that, I ended up getting just under 150 milliliters of dashi, which is gonna go right back into the tare. So let's make the tare now. So into a pot, we're gonna add 400 milliliters of koi kuchi shoyu, which is just your standard Japanese soy sauce, 200 milliliters of uskuchi shoyu, which is a different type of Japanese soy sauce, 50 milliliters of sake, 17 grams of good old MSG, 20 milliliters of nampla fish sauce, 40 milliliters of mirin, 46 grams of salt, 100 milliliters of your niboshi dashi that you just made, and garlic, ginger, and green onion. Now the original recipe was huge. I scaled it back to about a quarter of the original recipe just because I didn't want to make that much tare and it's the first time I'm making it so I don't know how it's gonna turn out so but I did bump up the garlic and ginger and green onion just because it turned out when I scaled it down it's like one clove of garlic so I just bumped it up a little bit so it's about um, 20 20 grams of garlic 20 grams of ginger and about 30 grams of green onion we're gonna put this on a high heat and bring it to a boil and we're gonna bring it to a boil as quickly as possible as opposed to the niboshi dashi, which was slowly as possible. Well, while we're doing this, let's get into two things I wanted to talk about. So one, the tare, and two, the types of shoyu that I use. So a tare is something that's not unique to ramen. Anything in Japanese cuisine that has a flavor applied to it, it's probably with a tare. Tares are just something that applies a flavor to something. So if you're making yakitori, which is like grilled chicken, you have a yakitori tare. If you're making sukiyaki, like meat simmered in a cast iron uh, pot, you have a sukiyaki tare. And it's basically anything. So in this case for ramen, we're making a tare, which has all the salt in a, of the soup, because actually in ramen soup, there's no salt added. It's just the bones and some aromatics and whatever kind of things you want to add aside from the saltiness. So we're gonna take this tare and use it to apply the saltiness and flavor to the broth for ramen. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the two types of soy sauces that we used in the tare. So the first one was koi kuchi shoyu, which if you were to translate to English, turns to dark soy sauce or strong soy sauce. It's not, it's not dark soy sauce at all. It's just normal standard soy sauce. And the second one was uskuchi shoyu, which again, if you translate it, it turns to light soy sauce, but this is not low sodium soy sauce. It's just a slightly lighter color. In fact, it has actually more salt than standard soy sauce. So now our tare is coming to a boil. We're gonna bring it just to a rolling boil and then we're gonna turn off the heat. And once we turn off the heat, we're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then just give it a gentle stir. And that's basically it. We're just gonna let it sit for three hours, just like that, to let it come down to room temperature. Then we're gonna put a cover on it. So you can see this sauce, this tare got very dark and viscous just from that short boil. So we're just gonna let it sit now for three hours and then cover it. So now the tare is at room temperature, we're just gonna cover it and let it sit like this overnight. So now your tare is basically done. All that you have to do now is just strain it and store it. So we're gonna take the tare, 
We're gonna strain out the green onion, the ginger, and the garlic. And then we're gonna find a bottle and put it in the bottle. And we're gonna put the bottle in the fridge till we're ready to make ramen. Now, a typical ratio for soup to tare for ramen is usually 10 to one. So a standard soup bowl usually has around 300 milliliters of soup. So you're gonna be putting around 30 milliliters of tare. So around two tablespoons of tare to 300 milliliters of soup. If you have more soup, you gotta kind of adjust accordingly with that ratio. I'm not sure what this one's gonna taste like, so I'm gonna try the 10 to one first and then see how it goes. That's about it. I'm just gonna close this up and put it in the fridge. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video.